And one evening, after my daughter had had her car for about a week, my wife came to me and she said very seriously, she said, okay, her car is almost on empty. I'm going to take her and she's going to put gasoline in her car for the first time. <laughs> and I, not wanting to look like an idiot, pretended I knew what she was talking about. <laughs> and so I went, okay. <laughs> A little while later, they came back from putting gas in the car. My wife walks in the front door, hands me a video camera and says, you gotta see this. <laughs> And I'm like, what? She goes, no, trust me. You're going to have new material for your show. <laughs> so I rewound it, hit play. And sure enough, there's my daughter standing next to her car. She has a door open on the gas tank. And she's standing there doing this. <laughs> Mom, it won't open. <laughs> Now, the first indication that my wife can be a very cruel woman when she wants to be <laughs> is what she did to help the child. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she just stood there videotaping. Then you hear my wife say, honey, remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. <laughs> and the 16 year old girl goes, whatever. <laughs> Camera starts shaking. <laughs> then you hear my wife say, honey, turn it counterclockwise. <laughs> my daughter looked at her watch. And I'm the father standing there watching the tape going, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> because I realized she was looking at her watch two or three seconds too long before she realized she was gazing at a digital watch. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, she's blonde. <laughs> But that's a good thing, because if she wasn't, that would mean she was just dumb. Okay. <laughs> so she finally figures out, okay, turn her to the left, pulls the cap off, and of course we have those, you know, four or five, six inch plastic leashes on a gas cap. I, I look at those and I go, who the hell are these for? <laughs> Obviously, at some point along the way, the car manufacturers had a meeting and they went, okay, there's too many idiots that don't know what to do with the gas caps. We gotta put the frickin' leash on them. Were there people at gas stations going, oh, no, no, <laughs> And then to add insult to injury, they put that little rack thing inside the door. And these same people are supposed to know, oh, you might take the gas cap and hang it there. That's very organized. Thank you, right? <laughs> No, those people are going, ah. <laughs> Okay, so now she turns around, she gets the nozzle out of the gas pump. All right, now, we all know that in the car there's a hole. <laughs> and you have the nozzle. But there's also the sleeve that goes over the nozzle, has a little spring on it. That, of course, goes over the hole to keep the fumes from coming when you're filling up. You know, you would think <laughs> that it's somewhere along the line, in the last, I don't know, maybe, maybe six months, she would have said to herself, oh, I'm going to be driving soon. Maybe I should watch Mom and Dad and take notes to see how to fill up a car. <laughs> no, you know why? Because for the last five years, she's been sitting in the back seat going, My parents are so stupid. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> hey, here's the picture of my foot. <laughs> Do 
She tried to cram the entire thing with the sleeve into the hole, just cramming it, crushing it, pushing it, and then there's can't say, Mom, it won't fit, it's the wrong month. <laughs> Camera's shaking. <laughs> And then she finally figures out, okay, it's got to hang right there. Okay, now, she didn't turn on the pump. She didn't swipe a credit card. She didn't go talk to the guy. She just stood there, apparently waiting for the magic gas to flow. And then she started doing this, realized nothing was going on. She was like... <laughs> reaches over, squeezes the thing. <laughs> Camera's shaking. Mom, it won't stay on. <laughs> Here's the second indication my wife can be cruel when she wants to be. <clears throat> She didn't tell the child what to do. She walked over to the car. You see the camera getting closer. You see her hand reach into the frame. What she did took about a half a second. This is cruelty to children. She reaches in, squeezes the thing with her pinky, flips it shut like this to keep it squeezed, hand out of the frame. My daughter goes, Mom, how'd you do that? Now we come to what I thought was going to be my favorite part of the episode. The swiping of the credit card. First of all, I know she has to walk all the way over here and get the credit card out of the bottom of her purse. The purse, the purse, the woman's purse. That's another thing. <laughs> that is an evil accessory thing that women have that guys just don't get. We don't want to freaking get near the woman's purse. We carry everything we need in life in a piece of leather folded over that big. My wife will say, get my keys out of my purse. I'm like, I ain't touching that thing. I've heard noises coming out of there. It's evil. I've seen you pull farm tools out of that. She can turn her purse upside down, shake it, nothing come out. Turn it back over, reach in. Look, a bowling ball, there it is. But I know my daughter has to walk over here, get the credit card, walk over here, and then swipe the credit card. And I'm thinking, swiping the credit card. <laughs> this is going to be funny as hell, because I'm the guy standing in the grocery store with my credit card, trying to match the way the stripe goes with the picture. <laughs> okay, is this upside down? This is not 3D. I don't understand this diagram. <laughs> Could you help me out? Boop, thank you. I didn't get it. I know that my daughter has, and I'm thinking, a 16-year-old girl, a 16-year-old girl is never going to know how to swipe a credit. <laughs> the hell was I thinking? She was trained by the ninja of shoppers. <laughs> my wife at Christmas time was like, Ch -ch 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 swipe. Right, right. It's unbelievable. <laughs> the time that it took my daughter to walk over here, get in the bottom of her purse, find the credit card, walk over to here, swipe it, and for my money to be flowing away at five bucks a gallon, I had to slow down the videotape to frame by frame to see how it happened. <laughs> That's the end of my story, but all I know, next time this 16-year-old kid pisses me off, that videotape's going on YouTube, damn it. <laughs>